Hi, I'm Tom Jordan with the Fred Jordan Mission. It's a great Thanksgiving celebration. I'm Willie Jordan. And That's it, Willie? To, we are here today to celebrate Thanksgiving. Peter? I'm Peter Jordan, and this is an amazing, exciting day. So many needy families, needy individuals, receiving an awesome Thanksgiving meal, all because of your help. Okay, Willie, what's different this year? More people than need this year, and donations are down. And it's a tragedy. As we see donations fall because people have their own problems, at the same time we see more needy, hungry people. But today there's lots of food for everyone, thanks to the generosity of people who gave. Tom, tell me about who, who is here today, who comes here? It's an incredible day, even with America, with the hurting, with the unemployment, with more and more people losing their houses. LA is truly still the greatest city in America, if not the word, the city of angels. As I've seen the volunteers coming and my brother Peter since four or five this morning to help and give back. These are volunteers that are saying, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for our employer, or family, or friends, we'd be without jobs, we'd be without a home. And people truly, the generosity and the spirit in their heart of wanting to give back and help and serve. Many have said, we've never done this before. And then some of our guests that are here today, the 2,500 plus we're serving, said a year ago, I was on the other side of the line. I was contributing financially to the mission, I was helping and volunteering. But now by losing everything, I need help from you. Well, things have changed as more people have lost their jobs, their homes have gone into foreclosure, the businesses of the, com the companies they work for went out of business. They end up losing everything, end up on the streets. And every person who eats today, this meal actually costs in the food over two dollars. But you can't put a price on all the volunteers who have been cooking, We've had a crew in the kitchen giving their time since Monday morning until today, Thursday morning, it's ready to be served. Now you and, them and this event, by the time you pay city fees and rent tables and chairs and stages, this will cost close to 25000 just for what you see on the street. No staff costs, uh, no other costs, just what you see. Now you send them away with groceries and, and yes. gift bags yes. as well, right? They will leave with groceries today, again, donated by people who care. Regardless of what's happening in your life, Pase lo que esté en tu vida. God says, I will protect him. Good morning to each and every one of you. This is our 68th year of giving, and it's all made possible by all the caring volunteers that are here, that are taking time out of your day, away from your family, and you're here and giving back. And for all of our guests here today, we're expecting to serve 2,500 or until we run out of food. Last Thanksgiving was the first time in the history of the ministry since 1944 that we've run out of food. Unemployment is higher. More and more people are losing their homes. Sometimes we spend time with family and we forget that Thanksgiving isn't just about sharing a meal. It's about giving back and particularly giving back to a stranger. It's, it's beautiful. It's just pure beauty. See you later, boss. Pure beauty. It's exactly what this uh, holiday uh, engenders. Why do you volunteer? Because I have a wonderful life, and it's the very least I can do to try and get back. All right, Why did you want to volunteer? Right, thank you. Because I think it's a learning experience to, to see how they, um, they really need this. I came here to volunteer because I love helping out people and just looking, like seeing their faces, how, how joyous they are. God bless you all. Huh? All right, all right. Good to see you all. All right, Mayor. Thank all you, right. buddy. Mr. Mayor, let's talk about homelessness a little bit while you uh, go ahead and get ready to you take know, some uh, pictures. I couldn't be prouder of all the volunteers who are here. I was just talking to uh, Calvary Chapel uh, Church in Covina. 
a group of young people who are here spending their Thanksgiving by giving back. And what a better way to say thanks uh, for our blessings. Uh, thanks to all the people who have given us what we have. And the best way to say thank you is to give back. And these are tough times. A lot of people struggling right now, trying to make ends meet. And the best thing we could do is reach out to a stranger and, and help them. And, and also ask ourselves the question, why do we have so many hungry and homeless people in America? What can we do uh, to give them a helping hand, not just here but across the nation?